All right, we have our timer going, as we always do. Why not? And can you introduce yourself, please? Hey, I'm Mr. Knapp. I am an English teacher. This year, I'm teaching all ninth grade English classes, um, or only ninth grade English classes. And I in other years teach literature in the screen, which is a class primarily for uh, seniors, but is also an elective for 10th and 11th graders as well. Oh, that's a cool course. I'd definitely talk to you. I'd like to talk to you about that course sometime. Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely a cineast. I have a lot of, a lot of love of film. And so in that course, do you take adaptations that have been successful, basically? Successful adaptations of books, or what do you do? Adaptations, um, not necessarily successful. Okay. Right? I mean, yeah. um, most of the adaptations that we watch are good, but some of them are, are bad and like they're in there specifically because they don't work. Right? That's cool. Um, and, uh, and then like the culminating project is like kids research, um, sort of like a specific like global or national event and then um, write an adaptation of a piece of literature inside that uh, global cool. uh, event, and then write a screenplay for it. Um, so oh, it's, that's a, neat. it's really I like that. I like that. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen Bonfire of the Vanities. Have you ever seen that movie? Oh, I mean, not in yeah. decades. <laughs> F famously bad, famously bad movie. It was so bad that they actually wrote a book about the making of it called The Devil's Candy, which is a great book. Oh, really? Book. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's, it's a great book. It's like a 500 page book about the making of Bonfire of the Vanities. And it's very, very, um, it's very funny. I mean, it was a, Brian De Palma is a good director, but he. Most of the time. Uh, yeah, most of the time. <laughs> So what do you like about teaching freshmen? Um, you know, it's kind of hard to say. Teaching ninth graders, um, you know, I make sure that I have uh, ninth graders every semester. Um, I go to the building um, and it's a way of getting to know uh, most kids, right? I'm Mostly, you have a lot of ninth graders come through your room too, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, it's just helps me kind of understand where the building's at over the years um, with all the kids in it. And so I like having that early exposure and then being able to see kids like all four years. Yeah, totally. I mean, what, yeah. What, what were you like as a freshman? How would you describe yourself? Yeah, I saw this. Uh, in the interview list and I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to talk about that. Um, I was a really weird kid. I was really awkward. Um, I don't think I really talked to people until they talked. Um, you know, I'd been, uh, I'd grown up playing classical piano. Um, and in eighth grade, I decided that instead I was gonna become like a uh, I was kind of like switching over to playing a uh, guitar in like this really terrible um, punk band in like mm -hmm. this, you know, 10 by 10 uh, basement oh, yeah. room where we Classic. played as loud as possible and tried to destroy our hearing as quickly oh, yeah. as possible. That's what you do. That's, that's, <laughs> that's right? what you do. I mean, um, what else and is there? So, so I had that, but otherwise I was like, kept to myself a lot um and also so i grew up in worcester yeah um you know basically after school i was either like practicing and and or just like wandering the streets of worcester kind of from like mm -hmm. record store to record store mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. you know that was basically totally. like my ninth grade that's uh, now. What about a piece of advice you might have for the freshmen in remote learning? What's one thing that you feel like they could focus on or, or do? I mean, I think the biggest thing right now is you know we have like the multiple stressors of um, an entirely new 
like school formation and like a terrifying rise in fascism. And so I think like the biggest thing is to um, make sure that each of us is taking care of ourselves um, in that time and doing work in the ways that like take care of ourselves, you know? So um, I tell my students this every year that I love candy. And so, you know, when I'm uh, doing a lot of uh, essay grading or short story grading, you know, I usually give myself like two or three a Twizzlers break, a um, couple more, and then it's like a Skittles break. Nice. And so, you know, like figuring out, it doesn't have to be candy, you don't have to like rot your teeth, but um, figuring delightful that you can do, just bring yourself back together and uh, is, is super helpful. Yeah, that's, that's whatever keeps you moving forward, I think, and yeah. keeps you healthy and happy and, you know, taking care of yourself, as you say. Well, thanks so much for doing this. And if you guys are lucky enough to have Mr. Knapp, you'll kind of see him soon. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to see y'all. Awesome. Right. Um, um, 